right now, Ghana has been really a leader in saying, look, democracy is incredibly important to resilience and preventing insurgents and violent extremists. Um, projecting state power in the north so that people in the north, in the north of all of coastal West Africa, get the educational resources and the clinics mm. and the police protection that they need is incredibly important. Yeah. Ghana's also been really smart about saying human rights are an important part of this. That the military and the police, when they're exercising their powers, need to do so respectfully of the population. Yeah. So I have great respect for Ghanaian security forces okay. and the way they do that. Mm. Well. And, and again, we, we are helpful, I hope, in all of those areas, in security cooperation, in human rights training, and in um, economic programs mm. that, that help everybody feel like they have prospered. And I also deeply admire Ghana's tolerance. I think the inter-ethnic harmony, um, inter-religious harmony, and just mm. tolerance in general are one of Ghana's greatest strengths. When the vice president was here, she announced a series of programs for Africa, but including Ghana, yeah. on digitalization and women's entrepreneurship. Yeah. Um, so things that are very forward-looking um, and talk about Africa not as looking at past or the historical relationship, but, mm. but where Africa and the United States can partner to, to grow together. Everything that Ghana and the United States want to achieve, whether it's in health or education or economic growth, all depends on women's full participation. Mm. Um, and when women are strong, their families are strong, their families do better, their communities do better, and the nation does better. Democracy is incredibly important, um, and it's important that all Ghanaians feel like they have a future in Ghana um, and ought to be involved in Ghana's growth.